Today I want to show you how to win almost every match when picking Harley, even when playing solo. I often end up as the MVP too, with some great kill death ratio. And before you think like, no way this can't be real, just hear me out and watch closely how I play Harley. There are really only a few things you need to understand to get an extremely high win rate with Harley and I've put it all in this video. Let's not waste any more of your time and start to dominate with Harley. So the reason that I win very often when playing Harley is because I pick him in the perfect situation. To determine which is the perfect situation, you need to understand what Harley's strengths and weaknesses are. I probably don't have to tell you that he can deal really high damage with his combo, especially on squish heroes. He also is very mobile and can therefore move through the map quickly. A big weakness of Harley is that he's quite vulnerable to CC. Also mobile heroes, especially the ones with blink skills, are really hard to hit. So we want enemies that can't dodge our skills easily. So in this match, the enemies picked 5 heroes with fairly bad mobility. They chose Dyrat, Cecilian, Leila, Hylos and Karina, which are all quite easy targets for Harley, especially Cecilian and Leila. So the first thing I want you to remember well is choosing Harley in a situation where you can utilize his strengths while minimizing his weaknesses. Another thing which is really powerful about Harley is his high burst power, especially in early game. The first minutes you need to farm as efficiently as possible to obtain the maximum amount of gold so your combo deals huge amount of damage early on. During the first minutes you only want to try to make a kill when your ultimate is available. If you make a kill or filth, just continue with farming until your ultimate is ready again. Notice on how I try to not waste any second of farming. I always keep my eyes open for opportunities to make a kill when my ultimate is available. But in this stage of the match, farming is the main priority. Like I said a bit earlier, especially Leila and Cecilian are heroes that are perfect targets for Harley during this match. So those two are my main objectives. Both of them can become strong when being fed, so it's not only easy to kill them, but it helps my team a lot. Never stand still when playing Harley, you always want to keep moving towards an enemy or the next jungle monster. Don't forget the turtle in early game, Harley might not be the best hero to kill a turtle, but it doesn't take that long to kill him. At this point I'm already level 10, while their jungler is still level 7. This big difference in level also means I probably got a lot more gold, which results in having a very strong combo for this time of the match. So once again, an easy kill of Cecilian. Mega 
defeats the villain. Payback. So when the match moves more towards the end game, you should try to prioritize the jungle of the enemy. This way their jungler loses some valuable farming potential, which makes it even more likely you will win the match. You see how easy it can be when playing Harley, which is largely the result of choosing the right hero in the right situation. It's way harder for Harley to dominate this well if you match up against heroes like Lancelot, Adora, Sofana, Brody or Edith. That's why I always try to teach you which heroes are strong against other ones, so you pick the right ones and increase your win rate. That's all for today. I really hope this information helped you to become a true monster when playing Harley. If you like videos like these, where I just show you some gameplay, please let me know. I'm also in for suggestions, so tell me which hero you want to see me play, and maybe that one is next. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you again in the next guide.